Hey friends, welcome to Gardening with Creekside and this week's nursery tour. We're going to go through and look at all of the fantastic, the shrubs we've got, um, mums, we've got merchandise, we have got all sorts of fun things to share with you today. So pay attention and make notes on all of the great things that we have to offer here at Creekside Nursery in Dallas, North Carolina, just west of Charlotte, Zone 7B. Let's talk about shrubs here at the nursery. Um, our sweet ladies have worked really hard organizing and getting everything beautiful down here and it is looking great. Fall we have talked about many times is the perfect time to go ahead and begin planting. Fall is wonderful here in the south um, in the warmer climates because get these shrubs in the ground before the heat of the summer hits. Massive root growth happens in the fall, so we want to get them in the ground. We have got, of course, the gorgeous Perfecto Mundo Azaleas. This is both the Perfecto Mundo Double Pink, and then we have the um, Double Purple, because people were asking if, we, um, if the Perfecto Mundos come in different colors, and they do. This is just a small sampling of them here, um, but the Double Purple, and everything got watered this morning, so it's a little... They're a little waterlogged, um, but that deep purple is a great one as well. Perfecto Mundos are those repeat blooming azaleas that bloom three times a year. Um, and so these are great foundation plants, beautiful flowers, nice evergreen color. We'll do um, great here um, in the south and other areas because they are hardy in zones 6B to 9. Azaleas, of course, are typically, we think of those as, you know, those iconic southern shrubs. You get beautiful spring flowering, then the summer, and then again in the fall. These are going to be two to three feet wide, um, so not going to be massive like we think of our traditional azaleas that can get huge, nice, manageable size, gorgeous flowers, give you lots of interest. Another kind of iconic southern shrub, of course, gardenias. I am a huge gardenia fan. If you have been around me for any length of time, you probably know that. This is Steady As She Goes. Proven Winners offers two different gardenias. Steady As She Goes is going to be one of the larger ones as opposed to Pillow Talk. They both have those beautiful double white flowers on them and these are going to be full sun plants. So you want to put your gardenia in the full sun, nice glossy evergreen foliage, hardy in zones 7 to 10. Steady as she goes, like I said, is a little bit bigger because it's three to five feet tall and four to seven feet wide. If you're gonna to have to trim your gardenia, because I've had people ask me, if you need to trim your gardenia, you wanna do it initially after that first flush of flowers because they bloom on old growth. So you want to make sure that you're not trimming them now. Do not trim them now. If you trim them now or the winter or the early spring, you're gonna cut off next year's flowers and you do not wanna do that, right? We love those gardenias for that beautiful flower and that delicious fragrance. So don't prune your gardenias right now. Also, of course, the classic sunshine ligustrums. These are wonderful evergreens, big pop of color for the full sun and they pair beautifully with this orange rocket barberry. Both of these are from Southern Living Shrubs. Um, they do obviously do really well here in the south. Uh, the barberries, of course, are going to be deciduous. So you've got that um, really bright red flower on, not flower, foliage on it pairs really nicely with the sunshine ligustrum. So be thinking about in your garden, what are the colors and structures that you want to have? and these two are just a classic pairing. Now, I've talked to you about this before with like barberries, just something that I have noticed um, with the proven winter barberries, so like the Sunjoy Neo or the Orange Pillar, barberries do have thorns, which makes them great to be deer resistant, rabbit resistant. These seem to be a little bit more thorny, if that is a word. I don't know if that's a word. I'm gonna make it up. I'm gonna say it's a word. So as far as the, uh, on the prickability scale, this is a little bit more um, thorny than, I don't even know how else to say it. Pokey? Yeah. I'm making up words. Thorn the yeah. thorn is firm. That is like, yeah, that's a very yeah. tongue twister to say. Compared to, Compared to the, like the sun joys from oh, Proven Winners. Yeah, the orange pillar. Yeah, the orange pillar. Yeah, 
So if you understand what I'm saying, just keep that in mind. Not that that would deter me personally, but if you have, like if you're gonna put this on a walkway, like maybe by a sidewalk, you may wanna make sure it's kind of in, not right against the sidewalk. Push it back a little bit. You don't want somebody coming in and raking their hands over it or brushing up against it. So that's just a little side note, but also with it being more, um, firm it's gonna I would I would imagine it would increase the deer resistant rabbit resistance on that um, for sure if you're looking for a shrub that brings you interest for three seasons where as far as you get flowers and you get fall foliage then vanilla spice is going to be a great option for you I planted three of these up at the chicken coop and we love um, vanilla spice this is a summer sweet you can see where these are these pods right here are the old blooms so everything everything that you see with those really kind of um, nice upright structure to it those were white flowers that smell divine really nice fragrance to them pollinators love this plant they will be completely covering this plant and then as soon as our temperatures start to turn uh, this will turn a really bright bright yellow so i say it's a big bird yellow it is a gorgeous stunning plant it is going to be hardy in zones four to nine so very very adaptable it is a native plant it does really well in wetter areas so if you have a spot in your garden that stays historically wet this would be a great option for you and it gets to be a good size three to six tall by three to five wide great thing is though it blooms on new growth so you can feel free to come in there and prune it keep it the shape that you want and it is one that is going to naturalize so if you've got it in a very contained area that you don't want it to spread you may not want to go with this plant if you have an area like i do up at the chicken coop where it can just fill in go for it this would be a great plant um, i want to use it in the signature garden in some of our wetter areas that are more open where it can just spread and be very happy all right let's see let's go where are we gonna go let's go to the barn so come on and there of course y'all we've got tons of shrubs right this is a great time to do um, hydrangeas you can see all of these beautiful hydrangeas back here the panicles are doing great anytime you want to like this fall is a perfect time to get those hydrangeas in the ground, your hostas, your cool weather shrubs and perennials. It is wonderful. Now, coming on in here to the barn, um, we got a fresh shipment, a fresh order of our beloved Heartwood birdhouses. Now, the birdhouses come from a family owned company in Star, Mississippi. I'm just gonna tell you right now, we're not shipping birdhouses, right? <laughs> so if you want to, if you're not local or you're not coming to visit and you want to order one of these birdhouses, just go to their website. You can order it directly from them and they will ship it to you. If you are coming here, these make amazing gifts. They make amazing additions to your garden. And I have multiples of these in my garden and I absolutely love it. Now, I'm gonna get, let you guess. <laughs> Uh, I went ahead and ordered two of these. So guess where this one's gonna go? Yep, so it has a little it has a little chicken on there. And so this is going to be going, not this particular one, because I ordered one for me, but it will be going into the, um, the garden surrounding the chicken coop. But these are made out of cypress and cedar and just a great product that is really not be only beautiful but functional as well and the birds love them they go in there right away also you can so if, like for this one you can either mount it so we have mounting plates like if you want to put it on a pole which is what i'm going to do but they also have like hooks in the back so if you wanted to put it on a tree you could and then they make it really easy to clean out so either they have in the back at the end of the season where you need to clean it out you can do that or the bird, um, some of the bluebird houses, which I just think is so cool. They have little, um, let's see if I can do it. There we go. Little, little switches right here that you can open it up and then you can open it, clean it out and easily put it back. So they make it really easy to clean their houses, but you can see they come in a range of colors and sizes and shapes. They will also, um, the smaller the hole, those are for your small birds. 
those nice bigger holes i think they're one and a half inches those are for your bluebirds and again they they flock to these houses and really really do adore them um, so great addition to your garden they make great christmas presents birthday presents appreciation presents like any if you need a gift for anybody that enjoys birds or gardening or any of that kind of thing then these are wonderful additions so whether you like the nice big like bold colors or you like a more natural um, color palette they have those so I love these and these fly out of here <laughs> all these references to birds it's just cracking me up I'm not trying to do that all right t-shirts so we have t-shirts here available at the nursery we also have them online so we can ship those to you like right away so t-shirts are here and online and then we of course have the um, Creekside stickers we got a couple of new ones in since we did it last we were here last this is like a holographic one I love this one um, it's not gardening until you get dirty so if you can see how it'll it'll kind of change some colors then we've got um, so of course we've got since we are in North Carolina we have to have some outlines and uh, North Carolina references so that is the Creekside Nursery uh, with the North Carolina of course the bless your heart um, I have another North Carolina I love this one nice round home sweet home um, really fun graphic on that and um, life's too short for minimum spacing we did this one right I was asking um, all of our folks here at Creekside you know what are some fun sayings and things that we can do and this was Randy's Randy loves that one and then of course our hey friends have that so these are also are online so you can order them online and here at the store Felco's we've talked about Felco's before we're gonna have a video coming to you this week on how I maintain my Felco's I will tear my Felco's apart I will show you how to clean them, sharpen them, put them back together so that they are brand new because if you take care of them, they literally will last you a lifetime. Yes, it is a bit of an investment for your Felcos, but again, you take care of them and they will be the last pair of pruners um, that you ever buy. So all of the supplies that you need are both here and online. We offer really kind of the most popular sizes. We have, um, we'll just go through, we have the eights, which are for a little bit of a bigger hand. We have the classic twos. This is, I think, probably by far the absolute most popular one. This is what I use. Um, and then we have the six and the 14, which are on a little bit of a smaller size, a medium size. And yeah i mean they absolutely are great and of course all the cleaning supplies the um, tools to sharpen the holsters you name it we got it all the good things for sure on that all right we're going to mosey on up here to uh the greenhouse we have some of our favorite customers are here uh, they're here bright and early this morning i think they're picking out mums and so we have got mums and the mums are cracking color because oh, finally it is arriving so we have got this is what i tell people i love or getting my mums when they're in this stage so you can see what the colors are but they're not in full bloom therefore you get to enjoy it for the longest period that you possibly can because you know what you're buying but it has tons of buds on it and it's not open yet so you can see like these are obviously two different colors this one is a little bit more on the pinky rose side i don't know if jerry can get in there it's a little bit of an older bloom but that see how it's a different color right there all you're going to have to do for your mums is water them you don't need to fertilize don't prune them just give them water and they will be perfectly happy so of course the classic yellow i mean this yellow is by far one of the absolute most popular with the mums because they show up from a distance it's that classic yellow goes with just about anything that you can imagine we have white uh, we never did white before <laughs> thanks to joanna Gaines, we now do white mums and i'm telling you they fly out of here they go so fast so when you're here you might notice you're like oh my gosh like that's a light yellow so it looks a little bit yellow when you first when it first is starting to open but then see right there classic white just a pure white um, so we've got the white mums as well we've got 
oranges and reds and purples and all the colors here. Um, Lane and Erin are, they're dancing around the camera. Oh, side note. So, Lane and Erin were, were the recipients to Miss Huff and Erin took the chainsaw and cut her in two. Yes. So, all of you that remember way back in the spring when we took out Miss Huff the lantana out of our um, cottage garden and I put the David Austin standard in there and I uh, gifted Miss Huff to Lane and Aaron. Aaron took the chainsaw, cut it in half, planted them separately, and they are massive and huge. So, I'm telling you, there you go. Um, back to talking about um the colors we will have so the mums are here this is just the first sampling because of course we grow them up at production and then bring them down as they are showing some color so we've got a huge variety and selection mums bloom at different times so this is a gorgeous orange but they bloom at different times so you have early bloomers mid bloomers late bloomers so we're going to have mums from now until probably october, october november, november. Um, so you can easily come and just, you know, get some now, or if you want to wait a little bit later and then add to them and get more later, you absolutely can do that as well. Um, I know a lot of people are going to be asking about other fall annuals. So your pansies, your violas, your kale, your, uh, mustards, all of those kind of plants. We are going to be having, we're going to have those either um, at the end of this week or next week. We have had kind of an unseasonably, well, not unseasonably, it's we, been. it's just been hot, right? And so those pa uh, pansies and violas, mustards, kales, all of those cabbages are cool weather plants. And so they are slow growing at this time of year. So we're going to have them. We're just waiting on them to bulk up a little bit. Jerry wants to say something, now, I can tell. We have a limited number of these and they, this grass, it's going to be like an excellent pairing. Yes. So what is this? The Cheyenne Sky. Okay, so we have Cheyenne. Okay, so Jerry's not mic'd up. So we have Cheyenne Sky, which is a beautiful perennial grass that is going to be, um, we have a limited number of those just because we're growing them. Um, and it will be a great pairing for all of your fall colors. And that's why CC has put them here like this. Um, even if you had annual grasses, whether you had um, the Skyrocket or you had the Fireworks, those are going to do great because those are cooler um, as far as our like a temperatures and they will sustain all the way through until a hard freeze. So all of these are great options for you. Bottom line, we've got lots of fun things here at Creekside Nursery. Um, a lot of stuff is going on. We just had a, a horse trailer pull in. So I... Y'all, it's just a circus around here. People bring all sorts of things to come shop at Creekside Nursery. Um, so we would love to see you. Of course, we're open Wednesdays through Saturday, um, and that is until we close in sometime in December. So come see us. As always, thanks so much for joining Creekside. Y'all have a great day. We'll see you in the next video. Bye, friends.